The trail of destruction from last night's tornado is long and the recovery will take some time. A FEMA representative toured all the damage today, but no plan for assistance has been announced yet. Today, the governor did promise help is on the way. It all happened really fast. Um, probably 15 seconds, the whole thing was over. When seconds matter, Judy Norwalt did the only thing she could do. Just prayed and waited for it to be over. Tuesday night's tornado tore the roof from her home. Sunlight now pours in through the ceiling in her ransacked bedroom. The clear skies, a sign of hope. They give people across St. Bernard, Orleans, Jefferson and St. Tammany Parish a break from the storms and time to clean up the damage and clean up their lives. It's almost bittersweet how a tragedy brings together so many people. Neighbors are pitching in to help neighbors. Our cafeteria has made some lunches. We had some students come into school today and then the teachers decided to go hand deliver food and supplies. Brandy Amadeo came from Our Lady of Prompt Sucker School down the road in Chalmette with an army of teachers. Governor John Bell Edwards says the state will help too. He acknowledged there will be roadblocks. To ask the federal government, <clears throat> FEMA, for public assistance, we have to have $7.6 million to public infrastructure. Uh, quite frankly, we've looked around. I don't think we're going we're gonna to meet that. But he promised to find ways. Uh, we have the funding available, and we're going to find the, the, the quickest available way to deliver the assistance that they that they need here. For now, people in St. Bernard Parish say they just need to take it one day at a time. We made it through Katrina, and we will make it again.